Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do tea videos every single day. So if you want some um, reality show tea, you want some influencer tea, YouTuber tea, I don't know, bitch, UFO tea. I don't know what kind of tea you want, honey, but I will, I will serve it to you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. We are on our way to 30K. And look, we need to talk about one of my favorite housewives, Miss Nene Leakes, the OG of Atlanta. I honestly believe like the greatest housewife, honestly, of all time. Look, I loved all my housewives. No, no, nothing. But like Nene just, girl, well, the first seasons, you know, because the last couple seasons, she just looked really annoyed and just like unbothered and didn't want to be there. You know what I mean? But Nene Leakes is one okay is one of the greatest housewives because you know i do love me a lot of phaedra and you know there's a lot of housewives but listen so as you guys know nini leaks has been in a very messy like you know kind of lawsuit against uh andy cohen bravo and nbc but it turns out that they are trying to solve this out of the court before it goes to court um you know nini leaks has you know she is literally one of the best housewives ever and she has really talked a lot and has opened up about the mistreatment she received from Andy and Bravo, allegedly. And, you know, it. there has been also a lot of rumors, you know, and a lot of things that have been saying that, you know, Andy Cohen has blackballed her um, from, you know, working again. She is on a, on a reality show for BET+. Plus. Um, where a bunch of celebrities live in a house and they go back to college. But I don't know if that's something Nini actually really likes. Um, or, you know, maybe she just did it for the check. But according to the Daily Mail, I'm going to read to you guys a little bit of what the Daily Mail says. It says, Nini Leaks working towards settlement in federal discrimination suit against Andy Cohen, Bravo, and NBC Universal, claiming the Real Housewives of Atlanta was racist and hostile workplace oh that the real housewives of atlanta like the workplace was racist and a hostile um it also says here nini leaks is working toward an out of court settlement in her federal discrimination suit against andy cohen bravo nbc universal and others claiming oh i just read that okay a judge in atlanta on wednesday gave the defendants a 45 day extension after they asked for more time in to negotiate in the ongoing case Page Six reported on Tuesday, citing court documents it reviewed. Uh, attorneys for Cohen 54, Bravo, uh, and NBCU said in a June 24 motion that the issues named in the suit filed by Leaks are subject to uh, arbitration. Girl, what? Arbitration in New York per contracts the parties previously agreed to, according to the outlet. While Leaks dis disagrees with the prospects, of using an arbiter in the case, an impartial third party that would issue a settlement in the suit. Both sides remain in the process of negotiating this issue in an attempt to avoid the time and expense of motion to compel arbitration. The motion stated, girl, I feel like legally blonde, honey. I'm reading all these big ass words. I don't know what I'm saying. Both parties agreed that the 45 day time frame was appropriate to complete these discussions, leading to the judge granting the extension according to court docs. In the lawsuit filed in April, Leaks who is Leaks who is black told the court she had reported hearing racist remarks from white Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Kim Zosiak to higher ups with the companies and face professional repercussions as a result. NBC Bravo and True Foster, a corporate and workplace culture in which racially insensitive and inappropriate behaviors tolerated if not encourage leaks legal team setting court docs in the suit according to the associated press um oh, leaks in may told tmz that she felt she had been professionally sabotaged after complaining to higher ups about the racist behavior she experienced i have been blacklisted when you haven't worked in three years when all of a sudden you're working and sought after and suddenly you're not working it's being blacklisted Leak said, I was constantly being 
retaliated against, being blacklisted, not able to work, being silenced. And so, you know, it was difficult to do. The reality star, whose full name is Lanithia Monique Leakes, had appeared on 214 total episodes on The Real Housewives of Atlanta from 20, uh, 2008 to 2020. Um, Leak said in court docs that Zosiak Bierman, who was not named in the lawsuit, first made a racist remark during the show's initial season in 2008 when the cast was slated to attend a barbecue. Oh, I remember. So Zach Bierman said words to the effect of, I don't want to sit around Nini and eat chicken, which perpetuated an offense stereotype about African-Americans, Leek said. Um, Leek said during the show's fifth season in 2012, Zosiac Bierman made more racially offensive and stereotypical remarks, including using the N-word in reference to her and other cast members amid a fight. Ooh. Um, damn. This. Leek said that the companies she named in the suit were in violation of federal employment and anti-discrimination laws, requesting that damages be determined in a trial. Leeks is one of the most prominent personalities to emerge from the Real Housewives universe, and she's been featured on other shows, including Fashion Police, Dancing with the Stars, The Celebrity Apprentice. She has also been featured as an actress in shows including Glee, The New Normal, and Dynasty. Dynasty? I didn't know she was in Dynasty. Um, listen, now I kind of maybe connect the dots. You know, in the last few seasons, she was... She looked very disconnected. She looked very not there. And you know what? This could be the reason. Well, I mean, it probably is the reason. It most likely is the reason that, you know, she just felt like it was a very hostile workplace. And you know what? She deserves every last, you know, whatever she's asking for. You know, I, of course, I have to say allegedly if this is true then Bravo, NBC, and Andy Cohen really have to step up and, you know, make it work with her. Um, now, I understand that, you know, she will never probably want to return to Bravo, but I also think that, you know, she has teased a bunch that, you know, she she might or, you know, that uh, she wants to make nice with Andy, you know, on his birthday. She kind of like, you know, shaded him, but said happy birthday. Who knows what the future will hold, you know, but if this is the work environment, I mean, they are, there are so many strong and beautiful and important um, women on this network and nobody should ever feel discriminated against or uncomfortable. You know, they're already feeling uncomfortable because they have to do all these drama things and all these things. So um, if, you know, if this, if this is true, I hope that all of the people that were involved are no longer working there and, you know, I hope that whoever is now working there adds to a beautiful environment to everybody of, you know, everybody, right? Um, and that nobody is feeling discriminated against because that, you know, it's, you know, it's 2022, like, and this is, uh, you know, a huge network, like, we don't have time for this. Everyone should be treated with the utmost respect and period. And um, there is no tolerance for racism. There is no tolerance for everything. I don't care who the housewife is. If if they are expressing, you know, racist things, they need to they need to leave. Basically, that's just what I think. Uh, you know, they just need to go. Like, there's no there's no time. There's no there's no excuse. You say you say you you know like for Kim Zosiak, I I used to love her. Now, um, Tardy for the party was my jam, honey. But if she was using the n-word so freely in a fight and you know she she made all these comments then i'm glad her show got canceled you know point blank period there's just no room or time or patience for any mess or an ignorance that's just what i think um so let's see what happens in the next 45 days hopefully andy you know i mean in a dream world this is my dream world hopefully andy you know and nini fix things and you know they can have a sit down on camera and be real about it and andy can say like you know what there was a very hostile work environment but we got rid of everybody who uh had complaints over or who who you know were accused of things we got fi we fired every single person Everybody who works there now is, you know, makes the workplace beautiful. And maybe in the future, you know, Nini receives a really amazing apology and she feels vindicated and she feels strong enough 
uh, and, and that that they are, you know, being honest with the apology. Who knows that she can come back, you know, and give her her own damn show. But, you know, I could, you know, Nini did a great job in Fashion Police. So I think I would love to see Nini in her own show. Like, I could literally picture Nini's show. Um, and people still really love Nini. Nini is like no other. She has the best personality. And I think Nini, you know, can basically do anything. She can act. She can sing. She can dance she can strip for you honey she you know she she doesn't uh deny that girl she can you know give you emotional acting she can give you dramatic acting she can uh, girl she can dance she can do it all honey dancing with the stars girl she can do it all she can host she can she can read you left and right she can shade you and she can still make you laugh like no other so nini i am so excited for whatever it's next to and i hope that you after whatever agreement you, you know, Nini comes to, I hope that she feels like she can peacefully move on with her life and that justice was made. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.